Hi, welcome to the Tail Slate. I'm Ben Stacy, and I'm here today with Kurt Lehner, from, who is a superhero and animation artist. Yeah. And uh, we are at the East End Expo right now, and you have a booth with all your really cool uh, Thank you. stuff over there. Thank you, yeah. And uh, so, obviously, you're a Canadian artist. Yes. Uh, and you're, so tell me a little bit about you know what, what you do. Okay, well, I mean, I grew up in Toronto, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, uh, fell in love as a child with... Uh, cartoons and yeah. comic books, right? Um, I actually was a, a, a child who suffered from uh, pretty bad asthma as a kid. Oh, wow. yeah. And uh, I also uh, um, I also have like uh, food allergies. They, they used to call it food allergies. Now they call it like celiac and oh, yeah. things like that. So you got have to be careful with gluten and yeah. things like that yeah. now, right? But um, so when I was seven months old, um, I got really sick. Yeah. And uh, I was hospitalized, and uh, they, my parents thought I might pass away. Oh, I wow. could have passed away, and uh, so thank, thank goodness that uh, that did not happen. <laughs> yeah. uh, otherwise, I would never have learned about superheroes and, and cartoons and fell in love with them. But yeah. um, so, what what got you interested in? Well, okay. So and what ended up happening was winters when I was young, you know, in the '70s and '80s and stuff they were really cold and frigid here in Toronto. Now <laughs> yeah. they slowly warmed up. I think the planet kind of rotated and now we get it a bit warmer, our winters, right? And uh, we leave everything to Buffalo now. Yeah, they they get all right. the dumping, yeah. right? But uh, um, I had to stay in a lot for winter times, mm. play times, because yeah. of the cold air. So I ended up having some nice toys. I had Mego figures and G.I. Joes and yeah. things like that, yeah. right? And Star Wars figures. And so... Um, it was a great uh, opportunity for me to play and be creative, but it also coincided with some of the cartoons on TV. Like I grew up with Super Friends, you know. Uh, I love the Super Friends. The Super Friends yeah. and uh, Johnny Quest and Space Ghost and things like that. I just love that stuff. So <laughs> the toys I played with were very much, you know, um, associated with the kind of shows that I watched. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I grew up, one of my favorite shows of all time is The Six Million Dollar Man. Oh, yes. With Lee Majors, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Got to meet him. Oh, really? And, oh, yeah. That's awesome. A couple of times, <laughs> and uh, uh, it was just an honor to actually, you know, meet somebody like that yeah. who played one of my favorite characters on television, right? And uh, so I basically uh, start playing like that, being creative at home, and uh, watching those kinds of shows. Uh, I was eight years old when... Uh, I saw this book on a newsstand, and I said to my dad, "I said, hey, can I have this, right?" And it was a, it was a, an action comics. Oh, cool! And it was a bizarre comic, but it attracted me for some reason. Yeah, yeah. Right? Uh, I still have the comic book to this day at home. It's my first one I ever got, <laughs> and uh, it was action comics. It's the side of the Daily Planet, and Superman's just kind of posing himself outside one of the windows getting ready to jump up because there's a plane that's crashing down oh, cool. and the caption the bubbles say this is a job for and then from the side coming up it it says Perry White and he's flying up to save the plane so it's oh, a it's wow, a bizarre really? yeah it's a yeah. bizarre story wow. that Perry White gets superman powers right <laughs> i didn't understand the whole thing i just liked the cover yeah, and yeah. i said oh this looks neat right so um, and that's kind of how it launched me in and then as I grew up and grew up and grew up and toys got cooler and uh, shows got better on TV and I just bought more and more comic books mm -hmm. and this is what I fell in love with, right? Cool. Yeah. So when did you start actually, I guess, doing it professionally, making it your So career? professionally, well, I went, to, uh, I went to university, you know, and I studied uh, art at uh, OCAD, you know, um, graduate of OCAD. Back then it was just OCA, Ontario College of Art. Now it's OCAD U, right? Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, but uh, it was more simpler back then, uh, <laughs> even the name. And uh, right after that, it was interesting because they really promoted advertising. Yeah. I took the illustration and uh, advertising program. Uh, they call it commercial, uh, communication design program at, at OCAD. And uh, they, the instructors I had were famous Canadian illustrators. And uh, some did Harlequin romance covers, some did uh, special posters. And they, uh, I had one uh, uh, instructor, William Biddle, um, he was amazing. He taught how to draw 
the anatomy from your imagination. Okay. And this was really what I wanted to learn, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. And then um, I had another instructor, very famous, uh, Will Davies. Will Davies did the original hockey posters when it was the world championships with Finland and, and Sweden and Russia and oh, Canada. Wow. And, you, and he has, you know, um, what was it on Team Canada? It was Daryl Sittler in the day and, yeah. and, and guys like that. And then uh, um, I think with Bobby Orr and, and, and those guys. And then uh, um, Guy Lafleur. Yeah. Amazing, right? Yeah, so, yeah. And he did these all in, in oil paintings. and, oh, so, nice. and um, They were amazing, yeah. right? So they promoted um, advertising. Yeah. They said that's where the money is. You want to make a career, you're gonna be an ad- you're gonna be an advertising illustrator and, and so on. You do storyboards, you do layouts, you do all these you know finished illustrations and so on. So I thought that was cool, and I loved I loved you know learning it all. Yeah. I had one instructor who really said no money in it. <laughs> so uh, I found out later that. He, when he was a young man, he wanted to maybe break into comic books. He loved comic book art and comic books, but he just never did. Oh, wow. And maybe it made him bitter. I don't know, right? It's possible, but he, yeah, yeah. he frowned upon it. Huh. And uh, it's unfortunate, but, you know, uh, I was the comic book guy in university. Oh, neat. Everybody knew me for, you know, my Marvel and DC yeah. love, right? Yeah. So, then I started five years in advertising right after school, and I absolutely hated it. Like, yeah. it, it, it was dry and boring. It, it, would I do advertising now? Yes, and I do. But I know how to make it interesting. And, yeah, you know, yeah. and over the years of experience, it's, it's, it's different now to do advertising. But then, right after that, a friend of mine from school says, hey, you know what, they're hiring in, in, uh, at Novana Studios. So uh, I knew somebody that was working there that I went to school with, and I called them, and uh, we got, I got in touch with the right people of the right department. I went in for an interview, and four days later I got hired. Oh, cool. And uh, I was working at Novana for many, many years, um, on and off, and I switched. I uh, did stuff with Disney. I did stuff with Warner Brothers, um, um, MGM Studios, you know, and... Um, amazing opportunities to work yeah. on feature films well, that's cool you know uh, I worked on Beauty and the Beast the Enchanted Christmas oh really awesome. yeah I worked on Space Jam cool the Bugs Bunny film I worked on All Dogs Go to Heaven 2 <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. you know and then uh, at Novana I was uh, in between projects I just had come off of being a designer on the, the Teletoon series Ned's Newt okay this was uh, for Teletoon yeah and then um uh, some of the uh, production uh, uh, staff said, what are you working on right now? And I, I, I wasn't working on anything currently. I was waiting for them to give me something to do. So they said, well, maybe you'd like to take your hands at helping on the development team, and maybe you'd like to try to design some of this stuff, right? So I got to design a few characters, and uh, then that went to a design team, and it got expanded. And I didn't know anything about this this character. I had no idea what it was. Um, supposedly, these storybooks for children were in circulation 10 years already. Wow. And in 1997 is when I got my hands on this stuff. I looked at all the storybooks, and I said, "Okay, well, what is this thing?" I didn't I didn't think anywhere along these lines after so many years this was going anywhere. And here it is. I can now basically put it on the top of my resume it's it's so neat so I designed Franklin the turtle oh cool yeah you know and I got to design uh, rabbit and beaver and skunk and children all across North America know Franklin the turtle now yeah and uh, you know hey uh, my niece used to watch it all the time right yeah Yeah. you know Um, now do I showcase it a lot no because it's really for little little yeah yeah when I you know sometimes I'll go into the schools and uh, I will. Uh, you didn't see it. Yeah. Okay, we're all right. So when I go into the schools, that's where a lot of yeah that gets yeah. showcased. When I do special little workshops with with kids and so on. And uh, but uh, you know, and then being part of all that animation stuff, then I I got to work 
uh, on a Disney project again, and uh, I was uh, a character designer for seasons three on Gargoyles. Oh, nice! And that's very famous. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Very famous show, and uh, I was a character designer, and it was an awesome show to work on, and uh, uh, you know, and and then through that, I transitioned into comic book art yeah. again like I always yeah. loved it and I used to do conventions uh, at the old Weston Hotel conventions okay, Dragon yeah. Lady yeah. Dragon Lady comic uh, uh, cons and stuff like that and the owner of Dragon Lady down, that used to be down on Queen Street was my history teacher in oh, high school nice. right That's so, cool. so he invited me he says come and you can sit and draw and Maybe somebody will buy some of your work. And this is how I started already in high school. Yeah, yeah. So it was a great opportunity. And uh, and now I'm back into the whole circuit again. And now I'm doing some work to help, uh, uh, you know, with Comic-Con launches and different things for, uh, um, you know, some of the movies and TV yeah. series stuff. And it was really neat. Oh, yeah. that's cool. Yeah. So what do you got coming up? You you had a special uh, yeah, edition a, of your Doctor Strange. Yeah, there's a there's a special Doctor Strange piece I did, and uh, that's going to be an exclusive for Pittsburgh. Oh, cool. Uh, it is showcased here. Uh, there's a pre-offer. You can purchase them today. Oh, right? nice. But uh, otherwise, it'll be officially for in the beginning of November right. for that show, the same weekend that the show same weekend is, the film that comes, it comes out. out yeah. and he said, uh, how many is there? Is a limited run of what? Was yeah, it I think there's 15 copies here. Yeah, that's wow. It. Yeah, so. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. That's really good. So. Awesome, cool. So in, in your, you said you're involved, you're trying to do other stuff for help kids? Or something? Yeah, yeah, so I have a company called Skills Programs Canada, and um, it's, a, it's a program uh, of workshops that we bring to schools. We bring them to, um, um, you know, uh, Toronto, uh, Toronto District School Board schools, yeah. we do the Catholic schools, we do private schools, uh, you name it, we do it. Um, it's one of the leading companies of its kind, okay? Oh, it's a Hollywood entertainment company yeah. working with kids. The world of superheroes and cartoons is what kids love anyways. Yeah. So my whole thought was, Let's get on their level. Let's get the things that they're interested in and educate them in different ways that they're still learning. They're learning their, their math and science components. Yeah. This, uh, technology in the classroom, literacy, design, all these things, and they're still learning it. Mathematics, you know, and, uh, but they're learning it through the things that they like. Yeah, yeah. Right? And uh, makes a we, big do, we do lunch programs, we do after school programs, we do intercurricular programs. Everything is customized to cater for what school needs what, and uh, we work with wonderful instructors that love working with kids. They've got, you know, good experience, and uh, they're also industry people. So it's not like somebody coming right out of high school or college yeah, and they yeah. don't really have any experience. Yeah. This is a good opportunity for kids oh, to learn. Awesome. And so if there's anybody out there from uh, teachers to principals that want to you know, uh, get in touch with me. Um, we can share my website Absolutely. and they can, uh, yeah. get it. There's an email there. They can reach out to me and all that stuff. So very cool. Yeah. Well, awesome. Kurt, thank you so thank much you. for, uh, for being so, on this. Well, yeah. maybe I can share, uh, yeah. it's Kurt Laner Yep. And, uh, or the art of Kurt Laner. go to e type in each one, any one of those and take you right to, to my website. Yep. And, uh, at the bottom of every page is my, my email, um, and they can contact me, and I'd love to share with whoever what I do. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you yeah, very much. Thanks for having yeah. me. Yeah. Oh, no problem. Yeah, and I hope you. you have a great rest of the show. Yeah, today. yeah, sounds good. It looks like people are over there already. So. Awesome. Well, yeah. <laughs> go, go sign some stuff. All right, stuff. thanks, guys. Thanks. Yeah, all right. Awesome. See ya. <laughs>